They had come to an end and could still see nothing except water and sky. Then in the dark of night, Diego Mendez, Diego Mendez saw the moon rising over land covered by a small island like during an eclipse. This gave them new strength to paddle into the night where they landed in Navassa. Okay, Diego Mendez left his canoe, governor of Hispaniola, all this stuff, okay? February 29th, 1504, blood moon eclipse. February 29th on a leap year. That's right. The instigators of the rebellion, okay, the natives wouldn't feed them, all this shit. But ephemeries, Columbus resorted to a trick that would become a classic exploit among explorers in a tight spot. The copy of Rigomontanus Ephemerius predicted a total eclipse of the moon on February 29th, 1504, only a few days away. He invited the Indian chiefs for a meeting and through an interpreter told them about a Christian God who lived in heaven and whose servant he was. God took care of the good and punished the bad and seeing how they were neglecting to provide his servants with food had become very angry with them and decided to send them a great hunger and pestilence. And in the case they did not believe what he had told them, God will send them a sign in the sky so that they could clearly see the punishment that he intended to visit upon them. He asked them to pay attention to the moon that night and see how she will appear inflamed with anger and redness as a bird's as a signal of God's intention to punish them. The Indians left some fearful, making light of his threat. Columbus's son Fernando was there as a youngster and enjoyed greatly his father's wizardry while he reported with much relish the sun. When the moon came out, the eclipse started and the more she rose and the larger and redder it became, the Indians were so frightened they came running to the ship screaming for help and begging the Admiral to intercede with God on their behalf, promising that from then on they would be most careful to supply all the food he would need. The Admiral took told them that he wanted to talk to his god and locked himself in. The eclipse continued growing while the Indians kept crying for his help. When he saw the eclipse had reached its maximum size, the moon would begin to clear. He came out of the chamber and told the natives that he had prayed to God and he promised him in their name they would treat well with the Christians and bring them food. In turn, God had forgiven them and would take away the angry inflammation of the moon. Seeing this began to happen with his words, they waited till the eclipse was over. And from then on, they were careful to provide with everything Columbus and his people needed. A bizarre event took place. Yes, they saw the Admiral's occult powers. But at least there'd be some good news. Fieschi and Mendez had made it and were trying to arrange for a rescue vessel. Columbus thanked the Lord for not having forgotten them and reassured the men that Diego Mendez would soon lead to send a larger ship chartered by Mendez. Okay, they're in exile. 